Do it. Something out there. Ghosts in the machine control, but I'm checking here. No, not a nothing. Let your imagination run wild. What the hell? Control Russo's off my scope. Moving in. Russo? <laughs> well, I'd call that a successful test. Let's go. Welcome to honor. You'll shortly have an opportunity to voice your opinions of the recent horrific occurrences that have taken place near the border worlds. But before we do that, I thought it fit to invite the commander of the Strategic Readiness Agency to address the House, Admiral Tolwell. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Ladies and gentlemen of the Great Confederation Assembly, as commander of the SRA, I'm charged with many duties. Foremost of these is the protection of the frontiers of our galaxy. Unfortunately, I stand before you today with very few answers. What do you mean, few the answers? random acts of violence taking place in the border world still remain a mystery. It's renegade pirates, I tell you. No, it's worse. Border world's militia is behind it. 
Let me remind you that during the long war with the Kilrathi, the border worlds were a loyal ally. And now they attack us! Let us not allow lust for revenge to cloud our thinking. We mustn't forget who our friends are. However, we must also keep in mind that during the war, certain social and political changes were taking place along the frontier. Now, whether or not these changes relate to the senseless acts of terrorism remains to be seen. But see to it, I will. I can promise you that. you are aware that the increase in these incidents has raised the tension between us and the border worlds to a dangerous level. But before this august body commits itself to a grave and irrevocable action, I have asked the Admiral to investigate and report back to us in two weeks. Admiral, we draw the blessing of this assembly and of every peace-loving person in the galaxy. In two weeks, we shall vote on war or peace. This concludes our live coverage of Admiral Holman's address to the Great Assembly. Barbara. Thanks, Bob. Gotcha. Oh, give me a house kitchen. It just ain't the same since the war ended. We got a lot of guys coming home and just not enough jobs to go around. Yeah, why don't we all make our own way? You a vet? Yeah. Wait a minute. Hey, I've seen your picture before. Um, hold on, you. I guess women out here on the edge of nowhere can't appreciate a civilized man. Sure they do. When they need one. <laughs> Good to see you too, Colonel. Or, or should I say farmer, Lair. Glad you could fit me into your busy schedule. It's a peaceful life. Hmm? I've always said you're either an earthworm or an eagle. So what, you must have been flying since the last time? Since you got lucky on that bombing run on Kilra? Yeah, of course I'm still flying. What else is there? Beats tromping around in fertilizer. Oh, do as I ask. Nothing more. Are you gonna stop this? Not my problem. Maybe you should go over and tell him who's boss, Colonel War Hero. This is the way you treat all your friends? You just remember you're not my friend. Oh, that's obvious. Be lucky I don't kill you right now. Let him go. I don't see where this is your concern, mister. I'm prepared to make it my concern. <laughs> you're gonna wish you never met me. I already do. <laughs> Personally, I can't wait until we meet again. Of course, I would have backed you up if you tried anything. Oh, you sit. Is he gone? Come on. Come on, pal. So, what was the important matter you wanted to discuss? Da 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 da
back, Colonel Christopher Blair, Confederation Space Force Reserves. It's my duty to inform you, you are being recalled to active military service. Haven't you heard, maniac? The war is over. They sent me here to get you. Who sent you? Who said that? How should I know? Somebody high up. They don't tell majors everything, you know. And you think with all the years I put in of service, what? I'll never understand conflict command decisions anyway. I mean, why they put an aging earthworm back in the cockpit? Why I'm not a colonel? You know, just because a guy gets lucky on one mission, happens to vanquish an enemy we've been fighting for eons. When do we leave? Oh, I, I arranged for a couple fighters. They're, they're waiting in the fort. Let's go. Let's go. Think you can remember how to get this baby off the ground? Huh? Oh. <laughs> nice liftoff. Uh, for a dinosaur. Since you held a flight stick, huh, Colonel? O or did you find some sand princess to hold it for you back there? <laughs> you don't have to answer that. Me? Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, but you can't say you haven't missed my sparkling repartee just a little. What you see before you, Colonel Blair, is just one of what will be many victories for the border worlds. some farmers are now. Magnificent, aren't they? I bet you wish you had one of those during the war. <laughs> Could have put the fear of God into the Kilrathi. <laughs> well, carriers don't fly themselves, huh? Quite. Quite right, Colonel. It looks like the uh, pastoral life agrees with you. I'm envious. Yeah, if I was a little more confident in the Confederation security act, I'd walk away in an instant. Well, reports are that you ran into some trouble on your way here. Yes, sir. Ah, law and order. Concepts that seem to be crumbling throughout the Confederation. These are transitional times, Admiral. Yes. But in the Kilrathi, we had a common enemy. It was humanity's finest hour. Now we cast about uncertain. Well, you've seen it for yourself. The wanton destruction. The 
That's why Confed needs your services. Your experience again. Then you know where my loyalties have always been, sir. Something we count on, Colonel. For the past months now, there's been an undeclared war waged against us. Acts of terrorism, piracy, sabotage. Every time I connect the dots, I'm always guided back to our longtime allies in the border world. And you think they've undertaken some kind of guerrilla war? Well, their relationship with Comfed has always been uneasy. The price of freedom is eternal vigilance. Which is where I come in. <laughs> well, we have a, a long history together. One that, uh, I dare say, has been a bit rocky in the past. We have had our differences, sir. But there's no denying our achievements. Which is why I have personally reinstated you to active duty. Not only will you be my eyes and ears, but your very presence in the border worlds will send a potent message to all the galaxy. I am no politician, sir. Actions speak louder than words, Colonel. I'm not sending you there merely as a symbol. I'm putting you back in the conflict, where you'll be reunited with an old friend. how I fly, because that's the name, come on around here, because that's the name of the tune right Hey, there. Maniac, Blair. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, hey, Colonel Blair, Blair, nice, nice meeting you. Well, thank you. Let Colonel, me take your back. Well, thank you, Colonel Blair, sir. It, it's an honor, sir. Nice to meet you. All hail the mighty heart of the tiger. You know, you're not the only war hero in Confed. I've taken out more cats than most ships' entire attachments. Do I get the red carpet treatment? No. No, I carry my own duffel bag. I don't go schmoozing with the Admiral. Admiral Tolan, Tolan. Oh. Have you said anything about me? You haven't heard? He couldn't stop talking about you, Maniac. What? Well, it's classified. I mean, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> uh, I got clearance. I got clearance. I'll tell you about it later. I was hoping you'd forget, Captain. I told you you weren't through with flying. You kept telling me you were done. <laughs> I'll never say never, I guess. I gotta tell you, this ship really puts the victory to shame. Looks like Confed's been taking good care of you. Yes, they've been taking care of me. It's a different task now, but that means I still need good pilots. Captain Ice, please report to the bridge. We're getting ready to jump to the Hellespawn system take care of a little trouble. If you take a good look around, you'll find it's a lot different from your last tour of duty. Look what the solar winds blew in. Welcome aboard, Colonel. One card draw for the next drink. <laughs> Better luck next time. So, you still living up to that call sign of yours? Man can do okay, as long as he doesn't stay in one place too long. Of course, I had to get greedy. Stayed in the active reserve. All those monthly credits seemed like free money. Yeah. <laughs> Who would have figured they'd actually reinstate me? I got played for a sucker. I ought to know better, right? I've never seen you lose a hand when it counted, Vagabond. Speaking of which, I think I owe you a drink.
Jay. Wouldn't have it any other way, sir. Good. You know, some of these newbies rattle on about what if this happened, what if that happened. This is the brain case, I tell them. Make good use of it. Now, we're here in the Hellespont because pirates have been disrupting the trade routes in and out of the system. It, we do know the pirates base out of this frigate on the edge of the Hellespont asteroid belt. The job is simple. You and your wingman get in a pair of bombers, fly in there, and take them out. Now, I'll assign two other fighters to provide you cover. Understood? Yes, sir. Wing Captain, it's great to be flying for you again. Well, the feeling's mutual. Oh, there's a few bad guys. Data? No, uh, nothing so interesting. <laughs> Just a trans to my grandchildren. New school year. <laughs> They're all excited. Did you want to see me about something, Colonel? Oh, yes, yeah, sir. The uh, assignment we're undertaking. Yes, we're just about ready to make the extraction. It won't be easy. We'll discuss it at the briefing. Right now, I'm due to check in at the bridge. I'll see you in the briefing room. Well, you're wrong, old buddy. Well, I'm not wrong. Border world radicals. That's who's causing all this trouble. Listen to it. Maniac, the political scientist. You asked the colonel. We saw the same thing. It was a border worlder who dusted that Orlando depot. Yeah. But does it ever occur to you, Maniac, that the border world's militia probably doesn't have the technology to do what we just saw out there? <laughs> we don't know what they've been up to since the big war. It sure ain't pirates out there carrying that kind of firepower. All I know is that the border worlds have always been Confit's stepchild. Well, they fought to kill Rafi, too, but what do they get for it? Anytime Confed needs a dumping ground for anything from toxins to uh, prisoners, the border world's the place. They have to treat it more like a colony than a partner. You know, if they are behind this, maybe they've gotten that desperate for their freedom. Ah, Colonel. Confed has deemed this an especially critical mission. Any particular reason? Let's get down to business, shall we, Colonel? Yes. Enemy reinforcements are headed this way, so we have to move fast. A trooper transport has just joined up with us. They'll be moving in right behind you, carrying the ground personnel who will nab the hostage. Thanks to your recon, we know just where we're going and what we're up against. The hostage is located in this structure. Now, you'll need to cover the trooper transport descent to that location. Then make sure it gets back here in one piece. Is that clear, Colonel? Consider it done.
You, Paulson, attached to the 3rd Fleet with orders from Regional Command. Welcome aboard, Captain. They must be important orders indeed for you to personally carry them so far. All Confederation orders are important, Captain. The Lexington is to head immediately to the Master System where we will rendezvous with the 3rd Fleet. I'll inform my handler. You will be filling me in on Confed's orders. Oh, we have much to discuss. In private, Captain? Uh, perhaps we'd better adjourn to my cabin. tensions between the frontier world and the confederation the union of border worlds as they now call themselves indicate they remain at peace with the confederation but the confed bylaws and constitution no longer govern them in response the great assembly has decreed that border world vessels can no longer operate within confed territory unless under military escort we go now live to admiral jeffrey tolwin at confed hq Admiral. Hello, Barbara. Good evening, everyone. Uh, for weeks now, we've been experiencing an increasing harassment of legitimate Confed space operations. I'm afraid innocent people are being murdered, and chaos is the result. Until we bring these perpetrators to justice, I'm afraid we must monitor all traffic flying under a different flag. Admiral, can the Union of Border Worlds and the Confederation come to terms? Well, Barbara, what other choice do we have? Thank you, Admiral. Thank you. Next up, the scores for the Galactic Cricket Cup. Tolwin's right. Confed has to do whatever it takes to maintain order. Otherwise, you got everybody going off half cocked. Well, the border worlds have been dumped on ever since the war ended. This required chaperoning is just going to turn up the heat. That will affect the lucky stars that ain't the Kalrathi bossing them around. A lot of people think it was the border worlds who kept us in the war long enough for the colonel here to lower the boom. Your farm's in the field, real close to the border worlds. You think they should be forced to fly under escort? We've done pretty well with Confed in charge. You gotta think about the victims of this terrorism. What do you think will happen to the captain? He's been holed up in his cabin since this whole Paulson thing started. I mean, I, I'm sick of the whole thing. Enter. Ah, oh, Colonel. Good to see you. Now you'll have more time to answer your mail. Captain Paulson says something about new orders. I'm awaiting a transfer. That's the extent of my orders. Oh, come on, sir. Someone's going to wake up and rescind this decision. Confed's a different place today. Running a spaceship is a different job than it used to be. Who knows? Maybe they're doing me a huge favor. Now, I appreciate your concern, Colonel. Tell the crew the old man is looking forward to a new job. Gentlemen, we have a critical situation. Captain Eisen has stolen the shuttle and fled the Lexington. There has to be some explanation. We have reason to believe he's been feeding information to Border World's intelligence these past weeks. That's why he was relieved of command. But we had hoped to bring him in quietly and simply pull the plug on his indiscretions. My guess is he knew we were on to him. Is Captain Eisen piloting the shuttle? Unfortunately, the captain seems to have enlisted the aid of Major Todd Marshall. Maniac? Gentlemen, I know this is difficult since you are old comrades, but this 
is in deadly breach of security. If the current tensions erupt into war, the information Captain Eisen might have could do us serious damage. The Confederation has never needed you more. Do we have a heading? Unfortunately, his destination is still undetermined. These are your wingmen. Your ships have been trapped and ordinance has already been committed. You must bring William Eisen back. Sir, if Captain Eisen's already taken these steps, I doubt he'll come back willingly. Use any means necessary, Colonel. Captain Eisen must not be allowed to leave this system. He must not be allowed to rendezvous with border world forces. Dismissed! in time. Keep that detail right there. <coughs> we weren't going to wait on that jump. It's like you guys ran into some trouble. Uh. We had a surprise visit from a Confed frigate and her escort. Is this Colonel Jacob Manley? I'm Colonel Tamara Farnsworth. I recognize those names as Panther and Hawk. From the Astoria system. That's right. You know the famous Heart of the Tiger. Look, I'd love to stand here and play get to know you, but you stay right there. We got some problems to take care of. Okay, if you can direct us to Captain Dominguez, he's expecting me. Captain Dominguez was on the bridge during the attack. He didn't make it. Anybody on the bridge or in the bays didn't survive. Two thirds of the crew. Captain Dominguez did brief us on your possible defection. Your deal was with him, though. We gotta talk things over with the crew before you guys get too cozy, understood? We'll finish this later. Come on, they could use some extra hands. I fought with Captain Dominguez 40 years ago during the Venice Offensive. Now he's dead at the hands of one of his own? What, what is all of this coming to? I was hoping you'd be able to tell me. I've turned my back on Confed. Halsam said you were... you were a spy. <laughs> a detective, maybe. 
They were feeding us a lot of bogus information. Last couple of days, I've been checking out mission data, uh, coded transmissions, uh, fleet movements. I've got all the information right here. This could stop a full-blown war. But you don't know what it means? Come on. Some of the pieces are missing, but what I do know is this. This clash between the border world and Confed is being provoked by certain elements within Confed. Why didn't you tell me? Because I have no idea who they are. All I knew was that my defection could end up being suicidal. I couldn't ask you to put yourself in that position. You had to decide that for yourself when the time came. I made my choice, sir. I have no regrets. Well, Colonel, I hope you never do. One more, come on. Let's, I better get up top and see if they need any help. Yeah, I'll lend out a hand down here. Bridge used to be up there. Birds were farther up. Never knew what hit him. At least when I go, I'll be in a cockpit. Come on, cheer up. I still say it'll be friendly fire that gets you. I don't know. The side we picked to be on has a long, hard road ahead. You look on the bright side. At least now you won't have to deal with that confed promotion that finally came through. My promotion came? My promotion! That's not right. Yeah, that'll work fine. Well, if it ain't the new Confed flyboy. Fighting on our side, huh? Yeah. His name's Blair. Well, hooray. Guess that means we're gonna win this thing after all, right? <laughs> Welcome aboard, kid. Chief Tech Robert Sykes. <laughs> you can call me Flyers. Thanks, Flyers. <laughs> I haven't seen one of those birds in quite a while. Not up close, anyway. Yeah, I bet you worked on plenty of them. Oh, yeah. I used to pull kill raffy whiskers out of the intakes for kids like you. <laughs> yeah, I could do a few things with that baby. Hey, don't let these gray hairs fool you, kids. I can still perform miracles with nothing more than a socket driver and a pile of junk parts. You mean like you kind of have to? Yeah. Plus, I could tweak those birds way beyond the specs those egghead engineers come up with. Well, great. I can use all the help I can get out there. Well, just wait and see what I can do, kid. Trust me. Happy to see you back where you belong. Thank you, Colonel. You had no small part in it. Well, to business. As you know, to avoid further harassment, the Intrepid's going to try and make its way out of this system through this nebula. I want you to take three winglings and escort us the hell out of here. God, what a disaster. Stop whining. Your first mistake was in not killing him right away. Who, Eisen or the Colonel? Take your pick. What's going to happen now? It's a good question, Captain. First of all, we're gonna get reassigned.
I mean, I'm gonna continue my plans. With the added pleasure of killing the heart of the tiger. <laughs> what are you looking at, soldier? Just like... for the christening of the Vesuvius will be a great inspiration to her crew, Senator. Ah, she's a bonny ship. Tell me, is there news? Have there been more skirmishes in the border worlds? News of the worst kind, I'm afraid. Betrayal. It appears that our great hero of the Kilrathi War has defected to the Union of Border Worlds. Blair? Defected? Oh, I find that hard to believe. He was always a hothead. What on earth induced him to... What the devil is going on out there? The intelligence I've collected is erratic, um, unreliable. Things fall apart. The center cannot hold. Mere anarchy is loosed upon the world. The best lack all conviction. Whilst the worst possess a passionate intensity, Yates. And you have no idea who is behind all this? Well, one thing is clear, Senator. The Border World's militia grows increasingly more aggressive. A grave mistake. I never knew Blair to be rash. Betrayal is always a mystery. Well, we are running out of time, Admiral. The declaration of war against the border worlds has been laid before the assembly. The vote will be in seven days. The outcome of that vote will largely be determined by your report. Let's hope that war is not our only option. There it is, right there. Yes, Lieutenant S. What do you see? There are holes in the data I confiscated from the Lexington. We've got no Confed transmission data for a specific 18-hour period. Before and after that time period, Confed undertook operations which seemed to relate to the chemists in the lab we confiscated. But without that comm data, we can't make a firm connection. We're missing carrier group trackings, fleet movements, assignment logs. More pieces to the puzzle. Oh, I've got it. There's a Confed comm station right here in Orestes, orbiting the system's outermost planet. Oh, sure. Most of Confed's comm traffic must relay through there. Helm, set nav coordinates for Orestes 9. Aye, aye, sir. We're going on a scavenger hunt. Sure. You look lost in your thoughts. It's never going to end, is it? What? I spent seven years fighting the Karathi. And then I thought it was over and humanity was united, right? Now I'm taking aim on people who used to be my ally? Come on, Colonel. We're just pilots. We don't get to choose the enemy. How'd you become a flyer? I ran away from home when I was still a teenager. I fell in with some privateers. Thought the only good thing to come of that was learning to fly. Signed on with Confed when the Karathi moved in on my home system. How about you? Yeah, I thought I could stay away, but this is all I know how to do. We are smart people. You should be able to think of something better to do than all this killing. Get used to it, Colonel. There's a lot more killing to come before we make things right. I stole about a year ago from some confed testing site where no one was looking. Never heard of it. Of course not. 
take them guys forever to release new technology. And with all their red tape about safety and such. Definitely not the claustrophobic type. Ah, oh, it's a snug fit. But it's just a thing for squeezing folks into a spot where a shuttle might be too big or attract too much attention. See that? Latches right onto the target. Then laser cuts the hole so the guy inside can crawl right through. Lock and launch procedure? Just like firing an MREC. Of course, the fellow in there has got to release the safety first. And he's pretty much on his own with minimal steerage. Minimal? Enough to dock at the target, and then fly back out to where you can tractor him in. And it gets pulled right back to one of your hard points. So you can fire it again if you need to. Let me show you something else. beat on Culkin, right? And along came the Excalibur. Of course, I never got my hands on one of those. But I've been putting two and two together in my leisure time, and I came up with this little thing. Now, I won't give you a complete cloak, but it should be pretty effective in hiding you from the radar. Any downside? Well, nothing's perfect, right? Number one, it runs on a very rare crystal. It's got a short half-life. So it, uh, it could burn up pretty quick. That means you might come uncloaked at, shall we say, a potentially inconvenient time. Number two? Uh, number two. I only got one of them. And a wingman who ain't cloaked won't do you much good. So if you want to use it, you gotta fly solo. Get her ready, Flyers. Might come in handy. You got it, kid. You launch it. All right, Rag. Your bet. All of it. <laughs> you go for it. All right. I'll call you. What have you got? Full house. Aces and eights. I got four queens. Four queens! <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> All toast, buddy. <laughs> yes! Tell me this is a joke, right, Mark? Say not, partner. He's not invincible to the maniac moves. <laughs> Nobody is. My ship has come in. Lady Luck is my bride. A lucky girl. Maybe I should have been flying for the border worlds all along. This can't be happening. You never lose. Okay, who's next? Th oh, come on! What? I don't mind telling you, Colonel, we're so close to that missing data, I can taste it. I'm ready to go, sir. Border World's command is sending us a detachment of Marines, but they won't arrive here for another 16 hours. I don't think we can afford to wait. We're pushing our luck as it is. Now, the target is this orbiting comm station, which is surrounded by these turret mines. Now, here's our problem. A radar buoy, which will undoubtedly ring alarm bells across the system if you don't take it out fast enough. Now, I hope you talk to Pliers about his cloaking device. Because if you slip past those turns and quickly kick that boy out and make our delivery. Delivery? Well, as you know, Vagabond's had some espionage experience. He and Lieutenant Sosha here have volunteered to go in. We'll use the insertion pods to get them in, approach the comm station, fire them off, they'll dock, get the data, and then you pull them out. Because of the clandestine nature of this mission, You'll have to fly solo, understood? Completely, Captain. I hope so, Colonel. Because without that missing data, we have nothing. Good luck, Colonel. Thanks for the ride, partner. 
tell us there's only a few contacts in here. Probably hide under their desk when they see our guns. Our intelligence was kind of off. They're in here. We're going into some well-armed guards. We're here to say goodbye to Lieutenant Winston Chang. This was a man who flew with his heart, as well as his mind. You know, I consider myself lucky to have flown with him. And even luckier to have been his friend. Vagabond, may your spirit continue to roam the stars. you want? Well, I didn't have time to cross-scan it while downloading. A lot of the pieces have fallen into place, but nothing that links Confed to any specific incident. I mean, there is some unusual movement in Confed resources and coded transmissions, but they're going to take me a little time to decrypt. Then there's the normal Confed traffic. So it could look like business as usual. Well, we don't have time to second-guess. If the Assembly votes for war... Then a lot more pilots like Vagabond? gonna die. Yeah. You learn how to make a decent cup of coffee on this tub yet? It was just a few minutes. The aces just kept coming my way. You know, he was dealing most of the time. Maniac. You're an idiot. I know. Maybe if I hadn't gloated so much. You know, shoved in his face like that. But that's not what I'm saying. You think that Vagabond lost the will to live because you beat him at cards. Never beat him before. SOS Colonel from a convoy broadcasting any border world's craft in the vicinity. Now, I don't know what you're going to run into when you get out there, so stay alert. Now, the convoy appears to be moving around, probably trying to get away from whatever is causing it grief. But they were last sighted here at these coordinates. Bring that convoy back to our location, Colonel. Yes, sir. This is a lifetime. 
expect there's little need for an introduction. Things come and go. Never did I expect our problems to cross again. Small universe. We're always in regret. It's the same thing the sponsors that now bring us together. Since my poor small friend became Dharma, we can run and try to coexist peacefully with terrorists. Melek and his convoy are seeking safe passage back to their new homeland and passport. Must be the weapon that was used back in Alice Apart. Nine thousand seconds. signed on with Confed, there was a rookie pilot on my ship. He's the only man I ever met who could do that trick. What was his name? He was transferred out real quick, disappeared into the Confed intelligence ops. I can't remember his name, but he flew under the call sign of Seether. I could do a lookup in Confed registry. And that wouldn't do any good, Lieutenant. When Confed intel wants you blanked, you're gone forever. I heard some weird talk about a GE program found out what it was. I'd just love to get that son of a bitch in my sights. No offense, Colonel, but uh, I wouldn't want to tangle with that guy. If he was that good then. Malik, I'd like to keep this recording. Uh, this, combined with the information that we've collected and decoded, will have to be enough. We've got less than a week before the assembly votes. Colonel, I want you to meet me back here in Champ. It's time we made our move.